raise your hand if you felt personally victimized by Dr. Jackie's husband, Curtis. Because I did. I felt personally. She is our doctor. She is my coaching doctor. She is my baby doctor, okay? I felt like Curtis cheated on me when I saw it in the blogs. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Not Dr. Jackie. No, no, no. And I wasn't ready for them to put it on Married to Medicine. How many of y'all knew Married to Medicine was coming back out? I had no idea. Cross my heart, I had no idea, but I'm here for it. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into this Married to Medicine uh, season, episode, whatever. I don't know, but I'm here for it. I'll have it in the thing. Okay. Y'all, they bringing up Dr. Jackie and her husband and everybody feeling some type of way. And what I was interested in was the different opinions that each of the women had. And Dr. Jackie said it best. She thought the world was going to be on her side. Regardless of what happened, she thought that the world would say, you know what, he broke his vows. But people was like, that's what you get for not spending time with your husband. That's what you get for this. Okay, I was here with Quad. When Quad said that okay so i asked for something to get done and you don't do it so now i'm free to go do whatever i want to do because you don't do it no you work on it you work on it and you get better and you could tell dr jackie was trying during last season but it's almost like she had kind of given up by the time the reunion had came now i don't know how far apart the end of the season from the reunion was but it it seemed to me like she had kind of given up but she she gave up gracefully like i want my man to be happy and if he's not happy with me then i want him to be happy but i was sitting here like lord have mercy curtis did you have to do it so publicly dr jackie is a matriarch like she is i hope i said the word right like she is that girl when it comes to being a doctor and running her business keeping her mouth clean keeping her business clean like she's just an all-around good person you don't you don't do bad to dr jackie now you don't do that and then i couldn't get with toya toya was defending uh curtis like well i take care of my man i gotta do this and that well uh yeah because you ain't got nothing else to do you ain't got no job tommy so you got to dr jackie was taking care of her business she had to do what she had to do to take care of her business and the fact that curtis i understand he needed his time but it's different ways that you have to ask for it and i can say like in my relationship especially because i work a full-time job i'm a single mom and then i do this youtube thing that's like having another job on top of your regular job so i'm coming home working on videos and stuff and courtney would be like okay well i need my time but it's all about how you um speak it because when he wouldn't say nothing i wasn't saying nothing i'm like i'm working you you support me you loving what i'm doing i'm just working but then all of a sudden it got to be okay well baby i need us to have some me time okay when you speak up then let me correct it but if you don't say nothing you let this thing go on for years then i can't correct it you get what i'm saying so curtis was dead ass wrong i don't even care about nothing else that went on in the episode because all i cared about was somebody hurting dr jackie feelings and i want to go fight like i want to fight the girl you knew that's dr jackie husband you don't do no mess like that he looked like dr jackie that man first of all the man is in his 50s okay if you cheating with this man you after one thing and that's some coin okay let's get real let's be honest about it oh I digress okay so we already know Lisa ain't on the show so we ain't got to talk about Lisa Dr. Heavenly uh, her daughter still talking crazy to her I'm, I'm ready for her her daughter need to get a whooping because I'm tired of her just talking off and popping off at the mouth with her mama I just I'm not here for it. I understand you have a, a you know way of raising your kids but you got to make sure that smart must stuff gets stopped at the door at your house before they get out and they act like that in the real world because ain't nobody gonna accept that I don't care what you say um quad I'm here for quad um I'm you know why I'm here for quad people talk about her not having no babies but let me tell y'all something i am a single mother and i can't stress this enough and i never wanted to have any kids that wasn't in my plan you can ask everybody that you know that i wanted to have a pre-made family so i've always been that type of girl so i don't say anything about people who don't want to have kids even though i have a kid of my own it's not for everybody you have to be mentally you don't have to be mentally ready but the, the stuff that comes up with being a mother is deep and if you can recognize that you're not ready before you go ahead and and, and start trying to have a baby and you know you're not ready you are really doing you you doing better than half of us out here who had unplanned pregnancies and i'm just being real so everybody want to get mad at quad because she's like hey i'm living the life i ain't got to do nothing i i ain't got nothing no no responsibilities besides taking care of my little doggies and my man and it satisfies me what satisfies me may not satisfy you but guess what it's me okay oh y'all this oh 
And then we got um, Dr. Simone. And Dr. Simone, uh, she's really going she's gonna to go through it because of this double house thing. I saw this last season. I felt like the whole double house thing was a little too much. And you can tell that her kids are kind of missing her a little bit. She's already a doctor. And then her not even being in the household all the time, that's got to be weighing in hard on them. So I felt like that was going to be an issue. And so we're going to see how this plays out this season because they already talking about it. it's a little, little bit of tension going on there. And then we got Toya. And Toya irks my nerves. As, as much as I try not to let her irk my nerves, she really does. Like, the fact that when Dr. Jackie was saying stuff that she was really just like, well... I try to take care of my man and I, whatever he wants, you know, I do. And like, she couldn't understand Dr. Jackie's, uh, you know, uh, feelings. And I was like, everybody's relationship is not the same and it's not going to be like yours. Your man is traveling four hours away so y'all can get out of debt. Okay. Um, practice what you preach, baby. Don't, don't be up in here talking about other people's relationships. You talking about you taking care of your man, get out there and get a job. Okay. You want to take care of your man, get a job outside of this TV show. Let me see you go to work okay so y'all can get out of debt faster but see people don't think like that she she all about herself she like well i'm at home taking care of the kids your kids go to daycare you can work and you better sell some avon okay you better start selling mary Kay on the side you better uh push that advocate or something bring in some extra income and help your man why are you around here judging everybody else's relationship no you need to judge your own until that uh hundred and eighty three thousand dollar tax lien come off i don't want to hear you talking about nobody's nothing Okay, I digress. Married to Medicine is going to be really good this season. Um, we did not see Mariah yet, but um, she's coming up in a couple of episodes. So, basically, she ain't holding a peach no more. Um, what they holding a the thesoscope. <laughs> she ain't holding a the thesoscope no more. But she's still a part of the show. And then we're introduced to another woman. And they have her picture on the thing. And so apparently, she's, like, in the Army or something. So, she's going to be giving Dr. Heavenly a run for her money. You know, I'm like, okay. So, we just going to bring black women in here and just try to call some beef. But that that's what we do that's what we do best okay but i'm here for it i hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know what you guys think down below are you guys gonna keep watching the rest of the season i am here for married to medicine because i love just seeing business women do their business things and have a little struggle with it so yeah i will catch you guys in the next one okay, okay bye